Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, the Brooke Ashley, and today we are here to quickly discuss all the drama that's going on with the Beverly Hills cast regarding Garcelle and her 14-year-old son, Jax. If you don't know what's going on, I'm gonna break this down for you as clear and as concise as I can, but just know that it's a hot, raggedy mess. And let me say this, bravo, please do the right thing and have several people on this cast terminated because I just have a feeling that quite a few of these ladies are behind this vicious attack towards Jax. So Diana Jenkins is obviously in her feelings at the backlash that she's been receiving, the fact that all across the board, fans cannot stand her and want her off the show. So because of that, she decided to get on her Instagram page and she's throwing out all these subs towards Garcelle. So we see this Instagram post of her saying, life is a long time and I do play a long game. This is not a face of someone that will get pushed around ever. Game on, bitch. So a lot of blogs were picking up Diana's Instagram post. When I saw this floating around, I was like, this woman is just so desperate and so thirsty to make herself somewhat relevant. We don't care. Diana, you're a racist, you're a loser. The fans don't like you, okay? We have spoken and we want you off this show. So all these subs, you look pathetic. So that post was just the tip of the iceberg. The hate really jumped out with this next post where Diana posts the screenshots of the group chat that she's in with the rest of the women. And we remember how Garcelle said that Diana singled her out. So we see the screenshots and then here goes the caption that Diana makes. Hmm, my grammar and spelling might be off for sure, but bottom line is I lost my baby at 18 week pregnancy in most violent way and nearly died in the process and I am ridiculed for spelling someone's name. Fascinating what fan favorite get away with. Go on trolls, do your worst. Oh wait, you already did that. Now this post created a lot of buzz, a lot of the blogs, a lot of other YouTubers were talking about this. I was thinking, girl, you really that pressed? You're obviously bothered that Garcelle's a fan favorite because what does this post of the screenshot of what you texted her, what does it have to do with anything? You're making yourself look bad, not Garcelle. So I thought that Diana was gonna stop there, but she just continues to keep going. So now she posts some more shade towards Garcelle, and it's this montage of Garcelle and Sutton getting her and everybody else together throughout this season. I mean, if Diana was kinder to Sutton, then we could have been friends. Told us and that I, already, and we yeah, I'm gonna that. say it again. How's that I'm going to say it again. And Why would I be friends with her? She's treating my friend this way. And then you see her caption and it says, it shows you who she is as a person with three hand clap emojis. So you're probably thinking, now what does this have to do with Garcelle's 14 year old son, Jax? Well, I'm glad that you asked because Diana started posting all these subs towards Garcelle, all of a sudden, Jack starts receiving all of these hate comments on his Instagram page, and it was so bad that he had to private his page. So I'm gonna show you guys some screenshots of some of the really awful and disgusting things that were being said to him in his comment section. So you have one clown saying, Garcelle is nasty, always using race for everything. Garcelle, how about your microaggression towards Crystal? Your brother Oliver is a drug addict but your mom is calling Erica an alcoholic and making her look bad, make it sense. Can't even string a sentence together, these idiots. Make it sense? You mean make it make sense? Really? And then to top it all off, a clown by the name of Queen of the T says to Jax, you'd have your neck kneeled on it if it weren't for your white daddy. Tell your mom to leave Diana alone or you'll deal with us. So when I saw all this, I was disgusted. I was livid. I was just so angry. Like, this is disgusting to do this to a 14 year old. But it's been found out that the people trolling Jax are bots. Now, if you don't know, there are some people in this world who will pay for followers. 
they'll pay for engagement. So you'll see them buy bots to make it look like they have, you know, a high follower count and they have, you know, all these fans when in reality they're robots. Now this is just my theory, but I believe that Diana paid for these bots to attack Jax. Because like I said, Diana is nobody's fan favorite. She's very hated and there has not been any of this widespread support for her. So now all of a sudden you have these people who just love Diana so much that they want to attack Jax. It's not adding up. So now I'm going to show you what Garcelle and Jax had to say about this whole thing, starting with Jax responding on Garcelle's Instagram story from Jax. Well, I'd like to start off by saying that I am still a kid and wish to not be viewed as a fully matured adult because I am not one. It is currently my first week of high school. And instead of enjoying it like most kids at my school, I have to deal with being attacked on social media. I did not sign up for this show, nor do I have anything to do with the show's drama. I just want to be a normal kid. The purpose of my Instagram account is not for publicity nor the public's gaze, but to be seen by my peers as just another kid. I really wanted to avoid going private, but I just have to at this point. The constant support from everyone makes it much more tolerable. However, middle-aged women spamming me with racist and crude comments about my family is not what I expected for my first week of high school. Thank you for all the positive comments. It truly means a lot to me. And then we have a tweet from Garcelle saying, I'm usually a very strong woman. I've been raised to be strong. My life has taught me to be strong, but when it comes to my kids, it hurts. It's not okay. I've been in tears all night. It's just a TV show. People scream at your TV, throw something at your TV, but leave our kids alone. Hashtag R-H-O-B-H. I really hope and pray that Jax is okay. I hope that Garcelle is okay. And I really pray that this does not have Garcelle thinking about quitting the show. I would hate to see Garcelle decide, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. Shout out to everybody, I have fun. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Shout out to everybody, I have fun. I, gotta be good. <laughs> I think that Garcelle is a fabulous addition. She's a fabulous housewife and she always understands the assignment. And I'm just saying if Garcelle does decide to quit because of what just happened, a lot of fans will not be tuning in to watch next season. And as we all know, Bravo has spoken out about the hate that Jax received a few days ago, and I was so glad they made a statement, and I'm gonna read you guys what they said. We are shocked and appalled at the social comments directed at Garcelle's son. We urge our viewers and social followers alike to refrain from targeting our cast and their families with harmful rhetoric. Now, I want to read you guys one more thing from Diana because she did post right after Bravo made their statement, and then I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts. So here's what Diana said in response to Bravo's statement. I am appalled and disgusted by the comments left on Garcelle's son's page. I do not condone that behavior. Garcelle and Bravo has all my support to find out who is behind those accounts. I'm not buying this outrage from Diana. I think that it's very fake. And I still stand by my theory that she possibly bought those bots to troll Jax. But she never thought in a million years that the fans would be this upset and how Garcelle would have the support of everybody, including the network. And now she wants to backtrack, backpedal, and wants to look like, you know, she just cares so much. Bravo, as a Housewives fan since the show started, please do the right thing and fire the necessary people because half this cast is disgusting. So many of you guys tell me in my recaps each week that you guys have stopped watching and you only watch my recaps. And if something is not done, I can assure you that the ratings will tank for next season. Half of this cast has got to be fired, starting with Diana. She has got to go. This was a terrible mistake one of the worst additions to any franchise. She's awful. There's nothing likable about her. She's just nasty, pretentious, and she's racist, okay? Let's just call it what it is. And I also find it interesting that Erica and Dorit have not said a whole lot about this whole thing. 
all they did was repost Bravo's statement on their pages and they didn't even put a caption. It speaks volumes. Bravo, I'm happy that you guys made a statement immediately. We need to see more action. Half of this cast has got to go. It just is what it is. Like, there's no other way to say it, but more than half this cast is just beyond toxic, and Garcelle and Sutton are truly those girls. And it's apparent that them being the fan favorites has rubbed quite a few of these women the wrong way. But y'all, these are my thoughts about what's going on with Beverly Hills. I'm just praying that Jax is okay, and I really hope that Garcelle tears everybody up at this reunion. Girl, you have our permission. Don't hold back, please. If you need to curse a few of these women out, do it. We want to see it because these women have crossed a line and you have been way too nice. But guys, let me know what you guys think. I'm dying to hear your thoughts. Thank you all for watching and you already know what to do. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Bye.